Hi, I'm Sierra. I am a full-time artist in the sense that I am fully unemployed and I'm always drawing. So come along with me today as we take this photo of my friend and create this painting. And feel free to draw along with me and let me know what you're creating down in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get into it. I want to start off by saying I freaking love this painting. It took me way longer than I thought it would. I think it was a couple days, like at least a week. And I'm not used to watercolors. And this is probably my third time doing wash. So I was more than happy with the outcome that I got. Um, this painting is for a really good friend of mine. And she is just way too funny. Everything she does, she's hilarious. And so in this picture, we were at a Thanksgiving dinner. And I pull out my phone and I and she's eating and I put it on the point five and I take a photo of her from above and I just died. It was so funny and I have probably at least a dozen other photos of her from that upwards angle. She just does the perfect little face and I knew I had to paint this. The gouache that I'm using, I think it's pronounced Himmy, Himmy, H-I-M-I wash I hadn't used it in so long it was like crusty dry like it was desert ground type of dry and so I had to look up videos on how to revive it but look at how beautiful it is it, in the background it's elegant because <laughs> I added so much water to it and I bought this paint stir and it would just stir the paint it was a mess I got paint woke wash everywhere but I think it was absolutely worth it because that gouache, it looks thick and juicy. And that's what I was going for. I've only used gouache maybe three to five times prior to this. So what I did with my very limited knowledge is I did a watercolor background and then over top of that, I just layered all the gouache. So I don't know if there's a better way to do that. Please feel free to let me know in the comments and what you guys do. So for this whole painting, I was listening to Mr. Ballin on YouTube and he basically shares like scary true stories or just like he's still, he tells stories and I was sucked in. Like you couldn't, you couldn't hit me with a rock to get me out of those videos because I was obsessed. It was my whole YouTube history for like a week straight but maybe that's why this came out kind of creepy <laughs> as far as anything else that was happening in my life while i painted this i'm gonna say mm, nothing because i was on break from i think my first or second semester of college and i had all the time in the world to do this and I mean, basically all I did was paint, record it, and then edit videos. Um, I know I don't have a ton of videos on here, obviously, but I do freaking love editing videos and that's pretty much all I did during the break. Uh, the only hard part is the voiceover. I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate to not wanting to talk or just naturally being quiet. Um, I'm naturally very, very quiet and an introvert for sure. But once you get to know me and I'm comfortable around you, I am so loud. <laughs> loud and obnoxious if I'm being honest. I'm sure a ton of you guys can relate to that in the sense that once you find someone you're comfortable around, it's just like, all right, it's time to talk about my whole life and all my traumas for the next mm, 10 years. Thank you. I wasn't vibing with the cardigan at all. I felt like I made it way too brown so right here I put an over layer of just a gray to kind of mute it out and I felt like that looked so much better because at first it was just drawing way too much from the background. It was it was not giving the vibe I wanted. I felt like it was giving um, she doesn't know how to dress type of vibes but I, I feel like the over layer of gray brought everything back together and it really pulled through. Uh, my favorite part of this whole painting was 
either her face or the table because towards the end once I paint the whole table um, in the original photo there's no food like sure it's Thanksgiving but that table is bare there is no no food to spare we're eating off of paper plates <laughs> so in the painting instead of painting plates of food everywhere I found these cute stickers that I had and they were just of like cakes cupcakes desserts I'm like this is perfect this I need this and they went so well with the painting and so I ended up putting all of those all over the table and I I give it 10 out of 10 I think I think that was the best decision I could have made for this painting the plate of food I painted her I did not like if I felt like it really really stood out against everything because it was just these vibrant pink dots um, that were supposed to replicate pie. They were not doing that. They weren't giving much of anything. So I covered it up and I eventually covered up the splotch that was on the table. But I think I think it came out way better than it was before. Alright, I know I'm topic hopping and I can't stay on one topic for more than a minute. Okay, I get that. I, I, I am who I am. But I want to talk about video games. Yes, video games. I have been obsessed lately. I got a new PC and I've been playing games off of Steam. Bruh. Bruh. Please tell me what games you guys like because I have been playing a game called Grounded where they shrink you and they put you in a backyard and you gotta fight bugs. I love it. I'm a bug fighter now. I'm a bug girl. And... That one's been a lot of fun. I've also played one recently called Dave the Diver. Bruh. If you like Stardew Valley or Minecraft or Terraria, you need this game. This is for my this is for my gamer girls out there. Alright? I'm obsessed. I'm I'm you're basically like swimming in the ocean, you're gonna catch fish. And then you're going to go back to your sushi bar and you're going to serve customers. And there's like more stuff that you can do throughout the game. That's literally the basics. Um, I just started it, but I, I'm in love. This is my moment of confession. I love this game. Anyways, as I was saying before, these are the cute stickers that I found and knew I needed to put on this. Uh, it's just, they went so perfectly well, and the sticker pack even came with a fork that fit perfectly in her hand. It was like, meant to be, but I think it just pulled everything together. She's out here eating her blueberry pie. She's enjoying herself. She's ready for some more cake, some more dessert. And overall, it's a moment and I love it. So the very last details I added to this painting were the deep dark shadows of um, all of the dessert so that they kind of popped a little more. And it just pulled everything together. It's absolutely perfect. And I hope you guys enjoyed this crazy, crazy process. And thank you for watching and let me know what you drew down below.